Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden. I want to show you guys real quick how to make a simple and easy hydroponic Kratky system like you see in front of you here. As well as how to mix hydroponic fertilizer, the, by far the easiest method that I've, I've been using so far. So we're going to need a couple of ingredients. First we want to use a half gallon size mason jar. As well as I'm going to be using a 3 inch net cup. This is, fits perfectly for a wide mouth mason jar without having to do any extra cuttings. Some clay pebbles, also called hydrotin. And your little seedling. I'm going to be using a tomato plant for this example. This is a mini bill tomato. And it's going to be similar to what you see the systems in front of you right there. So I'm going to be using a mixture of master blend, calcium nitrate, and Epsom salt. I purchased this on Amazon recently, I found a new seller who was actually a lot cheaper than the original guy that I was buying from, so I'll post the link in the description bar down below for, so you guys can check it out in case you're, you need some, some fertilizer. Don't do what I did, don't wait till the last minute to get some fertilizer and then you gotta wait three weeks to receive it in the mail now. So this is the formula and ratio that I'm gonna be using per gallon. And so I'm gonna take basically my seedling and I wanna um, prop my fingers around the base of the plant, this way I hold it nice and steady. And what I'm gonna do is basically just pinch it from the sides while squeezing it and loosening up the cocoa core. And this will allow me to basically take the plant out of its container here. This is a two and a half ounce cup. So you see I'm squeezing the cup right over here. And then it loosens everything up and it makes it nice and easy. Now also make sure that when you're doing this, your the media that you're using is a little bit dry. You don't want to do it when it's wet, it'll be harder to take off all of the, the cocoa core or the soil, whatever you guys are using. And I'm going to pinch the plants right over here, just to kind of hold them, while carefully shaking off all of the cocoa core. Now you can see the beautiful roots right over here, look at that, Go absolutely gorgeous. Now what I'm going to do is just kind of tickle the roots a little bit. You want to be nice and gentle, you don't want to be too rough, because you can rip the roots and that will stunt the, the growth of your plant. So you see I have, two, I have two plants in this one container, so I'm just going to plant them together. Since it's a dwarf tomato, it shouldn't need a lot of, a lot of space. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a 3 inch net cup, like I showed you earlier in the video. And again, all the items that I'm using are in the description bar down below guys, like most of my videos in case, in case you didn't know. Um, so take that, just place it right in the middle. You want to try to get the root to come out of the bottom if possible. If not, it's no big deal, the root will find its way out. Oh, I dropped one, let me get it out. And there we go, let's just take some of the hydrogen. Or the clay pebbles, same thing. And fill it up while holding the plant up top. So I'm filling up the cup over here to get it nice and level and hold the plant in place. And beautiful, that looks great. So we're gonna take our, our jar right there, just put it there just for the moment. Let's move that on the side. And you know what? Let's clean our surface area. This way, when I work, I like to work in a generally clean environment, or especially when you're growing. So now to the second part. We're gonna take our scale here. Um, the scale that you're gonna be using, it doesn't matter which one you use, guys, that's why I didn't put a link for the scale, as long as it measures in grams. And if you want to go to the 10th or the 100th power, it's up to you. As long as you can measure out your fertilizer. So I'm just going to take a cup right there, make sure you zero out the weight. And then take Master Blend, 2 grams right there. We're going to be also using Calcium Nitrate as well, 2 grams. And lastly, you need um, Epsom salt. We're going to be using one gram for this example. Now, this is the ratio they use per gallon. So if you're using five gallons or ten gallons, whatever it is, just multiply it. It's not what I do, the fertilizer's mixed up. I take my gallon water, you see at top I left a little bit space. And I start boiling water, this way it gets nice and hot. The hotter the better, guys. And all you do is take a little bit of some boiling water, just pour it in the cup right there. And this is by far, guys, the easiest, easiest, easiest method. I cannot stress that enough how quick and easy this is. And then you just have to make your hand move as fast as it can, like right there. Well, no, you, could, you, you don't need to fast forward while you're spinning it. 
We're just gonna finish mixing that, so that's almost done. It takes about a minute or so. Just to make sure everything is mixed in clearly. So originally when you're mixing your fertilizer, you normally would just pour it into the container like so, and you would aggressively shake the thing for like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and you would still see particles and residue and um, the, the residue kind of spinning throughout the water, especially the Epsom salts. Those things take a long time to melt for some reason. So with this method, as you see, I mixed it up, everything completely dissolved, less than a minute. I poured it in this container, shook it up for another 30 seconds or so, completely, completely mixed in evenly. Now I'm gonna use my PPM meter, and we're gonna give it a test to see how much, um, what the PPM level is in here. So it looks like, and try to squeeze that in there. So it looks like we're reading 680, 681. Yep, 680. That's perfect, what you want to start with when you're growing um, your greens. Now we're going to be using that ratio because that's excellent for the vegetation stage. And just all you got to do is just basically let's bring back our half gallon mason jar. I'm going to take an empty net cup, this way I know what to pour into, and you want to pour the, the solution basically up until the it touches the bottom of the net cup. Being that the roots are already growing, you don't need to necessarily go higher than the net cup, you just want to touch the bottom of it. So there we go, that's the perfect level right there. And I'm going to swap it out with my plant. And that's it guys, that's all there is to it, so I'm going to put that underneath the grow lights. And we're going to be back soon for more. If you liked the episode, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And as always, post any messages or comments down below, guys. We'll be back soon for more. Thanks for watching.